final game of round number three of the Super 14 2010 as we welcome you to Loftus Fairsfeld, the Bulls against the Waratahs, two of the prime sides in this competition and only three sides unbeaten so far. All international front row with Al Baxter and uh, Pelotti now many caps there amongst those guys. Over a hundred test caps backed up by guys who have only got four Super 14 caps in the lock positions. Make up for it is Phil War, the captain, and Wycliffe Palu with Ben Moen advancing with every game. Plenty of experience with Holland Gar, who coming into the fly half position. Luke Burgess has made himself a fixture in the Wallaby squad. Beric Barnes moves to the number 12 jersey to partner Tom Carter. They have plenty of pace out wide with the two international wingers and then Anisi. Uh, all black against Fiji in 2005, where he played in the second half. Born in Samoa, but an all black test cap to his name. A couple of little shifts there for Franz Ludeke and his side as well that we'll tell you about, but not too many. There's the same front row. They put it against the Brumbies, 50 points to 32. The Fandamarva retains his position in the second row because Bucky Puerta is still injured. Victor Matfield, his 49th game as captain. Change in the loose board trio. Derek Kuhn comes in. Danny Rousseau, the first time ever picked to start at number eight in Super Rugby. Mornay Stain scored one try last season, scored three in two games. Faria de Pria at Craftsman Supreme. Benadulafia tries in both the last two games. Stefan Dupinar, his young student. Plenty of pace out wide. Francois Hochart, powerful, still looking for his first try. And Karat van Engeva is on the board. And of course, Zayn Kirshner improving with every game. Well, what a captain, what a player he is, Victor Matfield. Has the total respect of this, not just this team, this city, this region, this province. Leads them magnificently on a team that are in devastating form. Almost, um, I hate to say it, almost look unbeatable anywhere in the world right now. Jakob van der Westhuizen, getting high fives all around. Full, ready. 32 test caps Victor, to his Lou, name. Ready. Pedro Wannenberg, cap number 101. And so Beric Barnes goes to the open side. Here we go. Two tough sides, well taken by Funden Yeva. Good drive there by Carter. They'll Stay scrum on. it out all evening Stay for 80 on. minutes. Lead in, lead in. Worked out there by Wall. And well, a little dark by Drew Mitchell. More drive by the Waratahs, the Bulls under the whip here. The Waratahs go again. Marius Jonker screaming instructions. Drew Mitchell hovers. Who will go with the ball? Eventually worked out and Pelotti now is the man who bursts it over the line. Well, it must be said, perfect start for the Waratahs. From the kickoff, they've outthought the Bulls. The execution has been 100% accurate, and look at this for a perfectly timed little pass into the gap between Gary Boeta and Vainan Ulefia, and Pelotta now opens the scoring. The Waratahs, full value for their five points, and Loftus rather quiet, to say the least. No question about that. Eric Barnes, what should be a relatively easy conversion for him. So, three and a half minutes into the game, the Waratahs lead by seven. And caps from the bench there. will be a coaching team and bench that are very happy with the start. The little skip pass, skip the three inside men. Got uh, Pelotta now into a little gap outside Gary Boot and very difficult to stop from that close. But Stain has gone deep, Burgess not. Alan Gahu, nice little workout. This is good play here by the Waratahs again as Carter runs it out of his 22. Picked up by Burgess. Now 
with Palu. This is great combination. Wonderful combination. Look at the speed of Douglas. Thunders into Kirshner, makes a solid tackle. Great play advantage for the Waratahs. Now it comes to Turner. On the outside is Carter. Swamp oh, by those Bulls tacklers, Downside. but they've been taken oh, yeah. by Storm here. Have, have the Bulls. Helen Gahu. Oh, he cleared. So Back nearly up, got the interception. But they'll go back for the penalty. Tony Rousseau it was who made the big tackle and didn't roll away. Look at this for some great handling amongst the forwards. The little pop pass out the tackle from Dave Dennis to partner Kane Douglas. Steaming up on Rousseau. Boom, it's a collision of the big men. And the ball very well cycled. Clearly Rousseau not rolling away. We saw it at the end of the slow-mo. Fast and furious. We expected nothing less. Owen and Kamani has joined us here this afternoon on the commentary. Owen, you're down on the touchline. Looks yep. from up here, fast and physical. Yeah, evening, Joan. It is fast and physical. But interesting here, yeah, the balls have been starting like this pretty slow in the first half. And look now, they could be 10 points behind. But it all started from the kickoff where you got it right. That battle from then on, been under pressure, and the Warriors uh, capitalized on that. And it certainly has become a game where controlling the ball is absolutely everything. The Waratahs have done that very well indeed so far. Well, straight down the field for Beric Barnes. It's a lovely strike by him. And the Waratahs couldn't have asked for a better start. Well, again, it was Lucky Turner with the little inside. Waratahs just look very switched on this evening, very organized. Well, Hofart first touch for him of the game, and it was for one meter. Well, even there, Ben Robinson the cleverly let Hofart catch it, knowing he was off balance against the touch line. Very soft tackle into touch, and the Waratahs will have to put into the line out. Pelotta now. That's great line out down to Burgess. Now Carter working at the midfield situation. The Bulls have looked a little vulnerable there tonight. Well taken by Helen Gahu. They're building up through Burgess and then out to Drew Mitchell. Look at the power of the drive. Burgess working up to the five meter line is Douglas! Kane Douglas gets his first super try and no wonder those replacements are off the bench. Well, magnificent start. First few minutes were fantastic. This is magnificent. Look at that for an inside pass from Luke so Burgess. Big fella, Ben Moen, it was who made the little dot after the pass. This is a great offload. Into the hands of Moen. He's got the power, the stretch. Over he goes. And not even Werner Kreer could stop him that close to the line. So Ben Moen gets his second Super 14 try. Sorry, I said it was Douglas there as he went over. But a lovely move for Ben Moen. The Bulls, I don't think they've seen or felt pressure like this for two or three seasons. Very interesting to see how they react here. The crowd are whispering a little buzz of stunned silence almost. I can't believe what they're seeing. Well, we said earlier that they may, their problem may be complacency. And a good looking kick there by Derek Barnes. That's the extra two. Well, it's the inside pass that's the killer blow here. Look at this, the little in behind. He's got behind the two defenders, Rousseau and Ulufia. And the minute you're in behind the defense, very difficult, particularly that close to the line. I would have taken the three points here. They're under a bit of pressure at the moment. They're unable to finish. The three points are at offer, so they have to finish it. If anything, the Tars will get, will come away from their own try line here with the tails off the Bulls on score. Well, that time it went to flip Van der Maat about good counter ball by the Waratahs. Van Amberg in possession now, driven back. Waratahs have really up to this game so far in the first 14 and a half minutes. Now Gertrude Stiemka. Dupria, Van der Merwe. Help from Guerta quickly. 
Bulls need to be careful they don't get isolated. Dupier dragged into the ruck. Now it's Johnny Rousseau. Stain looks on the inside. Hofart! Francois Hofart gets on the scoreboard in Super Rugby for the first time. Well, Owen and Kamani was worried about the Bulls coming away with nothing. They were under pressure, 17 points to nil. They took the risk and they have been rewarded. Great decision it was. Well held up here by Mornay Stain. Realising that Hofart was a one-on-one -on -one against the big fella of Ford. Kate Douglas, it was stretching. And the inside pass, just too good. Hofart did the rest. The Bulls are back in it. Mornay Stang adds the extra two and goes up to 61 points in two and a quarter games. It's a quick ball here and Hochart, you see, looking for work coming all the way from the left wing to score. I think they'll walk away here with their tails up now, Joel. Balls engaged. Now, I think the Bulls have got a problem at number eight in uh, control of the ball. Barnes had to rush that kick away. Now, Kirshner, can he create something here with Vanenbach? Good defence there by Lucky Turner. Bulls have to run all the way back to regroup. The Waratahs can attack. Now Gary Buerta, Donny Rousseau, great pass for Hofart. A difficult man to bring down. Yeah. Stepped inside, Holongahu easily. Down, 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 down. Now Hofart goes again. Leave it, away. Leave it. Dupria, Vonenberg. <laughs> Dupria again, Stay. Rulafir, Rulafir finds the gap up to the five metre line. Now Matfield. That's Leave a it. brilliant defence by the Waratahs. Overlap on the right hand seven. side. Huge overlap there was, advantage. but the Waratahs have formed up now. The Pierre digs. And it's a beautiful ball. Jumping on. The whole wall might be in a bit of trouble here as well. All about three times to let it go. The end result is the right one, though. Stefan Dippenau's run exactly the same line as Francois Hofart a little bit earlier. The timing of the pass was superb once again. Barnes tried to make the tackle, but the relenting, unrelenting pressure from the Bulls. And all this time that the Waratahs are spinning inside their 22 has finally resulted in a second try. Stefan Dupinard gets his first try in Super Rugby. So the two youngsters, Hofart and Dupinard, on the board for the first time at this level. Mornay Stein is on target. We could have an enormous second half to this game, Owen. Good hard work here by the Bulls. They put on the pressure, good finishing. As you say, the inside pass drags the extra man. Rock foots the defense. Stay on. Well, it is about a better start. Yes, Garni Rousseau with the pickup. He goes the siren for half time for Ida I think, with some relief, boots it into touch. And so one has to say that it's a very, very good half played by the Waratahs. They came out earlier on. They had clearly thought out their, their game plan. They started with huge verve. They scored after just two minutes. And it's been a, a half where the Bulls have been under the whip all the time. There's going to be tough talking in both change rooms. Well, there must be some temptation for Franz Ludeke to bring on Springbok Djivar Potkita or Dion Stechmann, who took a bit of a battering last week, 
could be in that area that the Bulls are just suffering a little bit. Donnie Rousseau, Dupria. Now it's Drew Mitchell. And Rousseau got up high. White advancing in front of the kicker. Uh, White advancing in front of the One kicker. of the perfect examples of the interpretations of Victor, the laws being stricter. Meanwhile, I think it is Phil Wall who is down. Time is off. Yeah, he's got a bang on the face somewhere on the... Two of you, you are one and one more advancing. Rolled over quite awkwardly. It looks OK. No sign of blood, no sign of an aerial damage. Well, a couple of the laws that the governing body said to concentrate on this year for the referees was daylight at the tackle and the breakdown, and secondly, players advancing before they put on side from a kick. This is where Paul Wall, oh, he got a little shoulder to the head there from Zane Kirsch, and I think an intentional, but a nice little shock to the, the, the face and the, and the neck. On. The war has penalised for advancing before they were put on side. And it's, it's a little bit technical, but it's 100% correct, and it is certainly something the players are aware of. Phil War is up and about. One must say you don't play 113 Super Rugby matches if you're not tough. And tough he is. Well, Mono Stain, a dead eye deck. They used to play leafling when Derek Hochart kicked something over. Not quite sure what they could play for this guy because he really is becoming a darling of the crowd. Yeah, this is the follow up kick from the Bulls. So Fitzpatrick with the throw finds Moen. No, he doesn't. Out goes for Stain, Ulefield, Dippenard, and now Kranen Hieva. Down on their feet for this young flyer. Good ball for the Bulls as they recycle quickly. Kranen Hieva inside Warwick's territory. Dupria, Vandenberg. Huerta had to get there quickly. Dupria, Stain. Lovely ball out for Kirschner. And look at this. Hochart! Try number two, never scored a try in Super 14 rugby. Now has two on the board. And what a well worked try it was. Patience, continuity, rhythm, timing, skill, everything here from the Bulls. Started with a lost line out from the Waratahs. No one couldn't hang on. He's got the hands on the ball eventually. Look at this for some good slick passing. Down the line it went. Two men sucked in on Kirshner. And Frida both right on the outside. Super dry. Super start to the second half for the men in blue. So great joy for Francois Hocart. No relation of Derek to fly half. And if this goes over, the Bulls will leave for the first half. Great comeback, must be said. 17 points to nil down they were. Chipped away at it, kept on coming. Conceded one or two more points. Here in the 50th minute, it's almost all square. It's noisy down there. I only think he gets this kick. Should be Bedlam. Yeah, absolutely, Kia. Also, just this new brand of rugby, there's people here in Pretoria playing. It's total rugby. You saw backs and forwards mixing it up, and just to to get them scoring the corner once again, but this kick here will get this crowd back on their feet. Well, it's holding its line, it's holding its line. Brilliant. There's the total rugby. They're already at numbers at them stretch, but Zane Kirsch had a drawing two men. And Hoha to the corner with acres of space to work with. Well, after four minutes, the Waratahs had ten points on the board. After ten minutes in the second half, the Bulls have scored ten points to nil. 
Matfield. Help from Clear, very quickly picked up by Matfield, driven backwards. Oh. Stay, stay on side, White. Oh, they stay with a bit of a oh. banana kick. These two sides over the years played 15. The Bulls have won seven. The Waratahs have won eight. Well, there's been a change. Liam Stackman is on. It's Donny Rousseau who's been off. Maurice Jonker has just had a word with Terry Coon and said, You can't advance when a kick is made. Two minutes ago, he penalised the Waratahs for exactly the same thing. Bowen. Good clean catch by him. Dion Stachman now will be in the fray to make those telling tackles and to forage for the loose ball. There he is, okay, right no, over no, no, the man no, no, who's no, gone no. around. The Waratahs try and get back into this half. Holangahu, Barnes, Mitchell very nearly through. Holangahu, great run for the line. Desperate defence, they've got to overlap here. Mitchell, lucky turner. Brilliant. Brilliant. Okay. It's going to go upstairs. Lockie Turner's giving the hot fives. He knows he's rounded it off in the corner. But again, we are seeing some scintillating running rugby. The Bulls score just now in fantastic fashion. The Waratahs' repost is just superb. Well, uh, we've got to say it's gone a bit quiet now. Yeah, it has too, but what I picked up from the previous move. Is their foot in touch? We'll take a closer look here. That looks good. Joel and the Gimbridge at home can see clear as daylight. The Warriors scoring there through Turner. Nothing wrong with that, Owen. Try it will be, no doubt. There's a slight hesitation around his feet here. That right foot it is. It's in field. I went near the touchline. Touch judge is in the perfect position. I'm not sure why we even went upstairs. Marius, may I want to try? Thank you. Wow. The Waratahs bouncing back immediately. So three tries apiece, remembering the good old Thanks, bonus anyway. point. Which, which I mentioned earlier about how controlled the Bulls are, how they always look like they can come back and win any game and how much patience they have. If there's one thing we know about the Waratahs, they're a side that never gives up. Opening game of this year's Super 14, they scored at the death and kicked the conversion to beat the Reds. Well, is it going to be a battle of the boot as Turner's kick misses? Well, aside from his drop goal, one of the drop goals, one over, one missed. That is the first place kick missed tonight. Turner gets the high five, but it was a brilliant team effort. Everyone involved. Quick ball, great skills, good score. Oh, the full no, 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 took his no, no. eyes off it, and the referee said straight down. Burgess was no, under pressure. This game to be one of those games that is won and lost on little mistakes. A little panicky almost there. Very experienced full ball, took his eyes off the ball. Burgess. Not as experienced, but still been around. Panicked a little bit with a kick. Didn't gain much ground. Bulls will be happy. The fans certainly are. Yes, 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 cheer is the call. Up goes Matfield. Number three, advantage. Advantage, Ooh, advantage to the Bulls. It's Al Baxter will be penalised for Rita Pia just pushed it forward. To claim the penalty. Side entry by Al Baxter. He's also nearing his 100th Super Rugby match, 96 tonight. To add to his 69 test matches. So there'll be a little bit of a, a banana there for Mourne Stein. As he defines touch. Saw Lee Burn for Wales. Oh, the game shot 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 yeah. having two shockers. No well, I know Owen would probably be thinking that when they stand should have kicked the goal there. I think there's a couple of Bulls fans who might have been thinking about the goal kick. Taken by Van der Marvart. Can they regroup? You see that quick barge in there by the Waratahs, quite legally. 
counter mauling against the Bulls' power. Gary Buerta. Have to be very careful, he's not isolated as Dion Staffman. Help from Matfield. Now Dupree, well handled by Vandenberg. Pietri Vandenberg made a great catch there. Dupree, now they drive towards that post. You can score against the post. Frantic hands trying to move the ball back. Dupree, Matfield. Dive there from Stefan. Leave it now. Was there a dummy coming but from the player? Advantage again. Leave it, Tackle! Frantic stuff there. The player appealing for something. Van Acrea tries to swirl around. The player now digs. Still advantage for the Bulls. It comes for Dupinard. Can he get something? Oh, no, he certainly won't like that. The Time penalty off. right in front of the post. Time off. Time's off. You you got a kicker that can kick All spot on off. on any day. Take the three points. Phil. He's got a long way to go. Phil, please come over. Time is off. The big question now is: can, Will Victor Matfield take your advice? The field sides in the field. Too many penalties in this area. It's the next one. Team. To find himself for me up the season on the side of the, on the, side of the field. Have a chat, yeah, please. Definitely a warning. Next one will it. be. Well, Time is not will on. find himself warming the bench. Then, no more penalties. Well, they're have not chat, going to scrum it. They've got two pods of no forwards here. Yeah. Have the bulls. Oh, not taking my advice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they can hear you. That's the problem, <laughs> man. Well, there were probably 10 Thank infringements you. in this passage Thanks, of play, five or six different advantages. Okay, offside. Yeah, the Bulls go away. again. What have they in store? Vanenberg, with low tackling by the Waratahs. Now Dupree gets it, there's numbers here. Oh, Hofer looking for that hat trick. Frantic to get the ball back Leave on the one. Bulls' side. Worked up by the player, Stianka. So you're yeah, inside, inside, yeah. Here comes Roll the Pandemarva. And is that drive over the line? Look at Stefan waiting. Will he get? No, he doesn't. Comes from Mourne Stay. Over up here. Kershner. And it's Van Yeren. Goal! Get up from him here, man. The young man who looks like he should be in about grade 11 gets in for his fourth Super 14 try. And again, so well worked. Unrelenting pressure. Eventually the gates had to open. It's a brave effort from Drew Mitchell getting across very quickly. Funding here for rounds off. But it's the forwards who built up the pressure. It was some slick handling inside Funding here for. And the bullet. Somewhere around here. Are snorting, stamping, and celebrating. It's well, sensational. They're celebrating not only the regaining of the lead, but also their bonus points. You spectacular when it comes off. Really looked good at the end, and I think it's a, it's a good thing that Victor Madfield's couldn't hear me. They're in here for their fourth uh, try. He's proving you wrong twice tonight now, eh? <laughs> Mourne Stein, all important conversion. Two will take them for it. Well, will it hold his line? Yes, it will. So it takes him three ahead. Just a fraction of a cushion. Meanwhile, Gioval Potskit has come onto the field. He got a great welcome from the crowd. A little dummy pod set up there to carry it over. Just sucked in three or four defenders. It meant there was loads of space out wide. And Funden Yaffa could have gone inside, outside. Either way, he's got the try. Stjernkamp is back on the charge for the Bulls. Dupier Stein. Well taken now inside to Barnes. Stay here, stay freeze here, freeze Palu, who is all the way back there for outside, the Waratahs. Stain looks to go outside his 22. Yeah, 
Dupre will give chase. Back through this team is Turner. He's had a good game tonight as Lockie Turner running from the back scoring a try. So is this man Burgess. Now it's Carter, Hollingar, no, Nisi. Good continuity by the Waratahs. Burgess right up there quickly. Now taken by Carter. Ulithia makes a telling tackle. Burgess finds Douglas. Lock, lock against lock. Good cleaning out by the Waratahs, but there was a knock on. No, there was accidental offside and frustration for Luke Burgess. Great gentlemen, Great support. We were a little bit concerned about Kane Douglas and Dave Dennis, both very young, very inexperienced. Certainly done their bit tonight. They've stood up and been counted. Very well. Hollandahu Mitchell. Rulifia is making some telling tackles. Got up a bit slowly that time. Advantage to the Bulls. Are we going to see a massive penalty attempt from Mornay Stain here, John? It wouldn't surprise us, it wouldn't surprise the faithful here at Loftus. He's got the ball under the arm. He's thinking about it. He's not just thinking. He looks up. I'm looking up at the flags. They just a slight little wobble on the flags. If anything, he's going to uh, try and get close up. He had a little word with his captain there, and his captain uh, said something, off. and then he kicked the touch. Uh, yeah, break off. No more. Well, the penalty came, Eight. carried up strongly by Drew Mitchell. He's had a bit of ball to carry up tonight, but not much in space. And here he's clearly playing that on the ground. It was Stackman who was oh, in over on. after daylight he's a mark. and had the opportunity to play it and win the penalty. Well, the other tactical thing is you're down to the last quarter of the game, you're down in Waratah's territory. And because you're winning the ball by Matfield and Steph right at the back of the mall, you're able to stay down in that territory. Maybe for 5, 10, 15 minutes, who knows? Get uh, closer to scoring a try or a penalty that's more certain. But it's all using up time here. And it's territorially bad for the Waratahs. They've got to get out of there. Vandenberg with help from Ulufi. Advantage. And there's the advantage. Get now you see Look at your legs. Clearly. tactically Get out of the Bulls have done well here. It's a new man, Damien Fitzpatrick, who left his legs lying in the way, didn't roll away. And well, once again, yeah. looking for touch. I'm not sure about this. I think you've got to kick your balls. You've got to make sure the Waratahs understand that if they transgress, the points are going to be on the board. Six, nine, twelve points that takes the game, and that's when the tries come again. They've got the four tries, make the game safe. Yeah, the only thing is, I still think if they score here, they put the game almost out of the sight of the Waratahs because they'll have to score twice. Well, Victor Matfield proved Owen wrong. Is he going to prove me wrong? Yeah, the thing is that it's also territorially very good using up time. The Bulls, this is the way they play, Joel. That's tiring defending. Gee, and if you're reaching that, that part of the game where the, the altitude sets in. Yeah, well, the Bulls will be very relieved to get the put into that scrum. Very relieved indeed because if the Waratahs get a sniff of a breakout, they take it. 66% in the Waratahs half job. Yeah, and that 44% standing up like a mountain. When you play in that zone, it's that, it's that nervous zone. It's like having a six-foot putt. Everything you do, you know you make a mistake, you're going to be punished. But the Bulls are maybe a little fortunate to get the put into the scrum there. I, I agree with you. Yes, Rue. Touch. Touch. Balls in game. Now, will they look to force it over via the scrum? They can't do so now. Dupier, Stain, Ulefier, Vaila 
to the field. Three tries in three matches, and Victor Matfield's tactics are vindicated. Owen and Kamani. Yeah, this is good work. Jafundi here for was the dummy runner, managing to stop the defence. From then on, easy through for very experienced Bain and Olive. What a season is having. Even last year was a strong, but the good thing here, the fresh legs at scrum created a good platform. Take a closer look. Taking two players from the ever as a dummy runner. From then on, it was only three going over. Just half a sniff of the trial line he needed into that half gap. The power, the pace, the strength, the timing of the move most important. And inside he went. Conversion by Mornay Stain moves it into the 40s. And 17, sub. Substitution time here for the Waratahs. Big time and horn and comes on. On off. comes uh, Kepu. Okay, there's one off. Hold it. Time is off. Now we go, right, time on. Time on. Just having a look to see if Josh Holmes is on the field well. Covered hey, by Van and Berg now. Jacques Louis Potkita lays it back for Reed de Pria. Stain. Be interested to see where they're Some at here. Got hands up now. Now here come the Waratahs. This is a good run forward, and the exceptional run here by Horn gets it away to Mitchell. Mitchell steps inside. Is there anything left in the Waratahs armory? Fabulous counter by them. Yep. They're back in contention with 10 minutes to go. Great break out there by Rob Horn, and then finished by Drew Mitchell. Bonus, bonus point bonus to Waratahs. Well, he stepped over like a hurdler at the death there. Here come the little breakout. Horn has just come onto the field. Strong run. Got away from a couple. The little backflip. Mitchell inside. Oh, brilliant finish. Well, I said it earlier. They came back at the death to beat the Reds when they looked dead and buried. Trailed yeah, by 10 at one point. They trailed by 10 just before the try. Will it be a carbon copy? Well, Kirkley Beal has kicked the conversion. The balls will be concerned of that defence here. Yeah. See Kershaw trying to buy time, but just to communicate between them and Fandy Heaven. From then on, it all just still spirals down. There's another one. The corner flagging, just Drew Mitchell's class coming through the experience. And he's saying they're back in the game. What a finish, Rick. We're in here for. Well, we have young Stefan Dippenau off the field. Stain still there. Jacques-Louis Potfita will operate in the inside centre position. Here goes Palu. Great tackle by Potfita. And well worked out there by Burgess. Little bit of space for Beal on the bounce. Great tackle. And it's a great back tackle by Stain. Now the continuity goes on via Caldwell. Waratahs putting everything into the last 10 minutes to break up by Fitzpatrick. Ika finds a man all oh, into the Bulls 22 meter area. Carter is there, scrum half. Now the Waratahs have men, they've got to get it out as Barnes gets it away to the captain. They've gone backwards a little bit. Now Horn again. Barnes with the dummy. Barnes. Oh, and the Bulls get away because there was obstruction. Timing of the run, not good in the backs there. Bonds, hang on. And, uh, well, a little fortunate for the Bulls. Well, I've been a penalty against the Bulls down at that far ruck as well. The scrum off clearly pulled in by one of the Moratars players. So Jakob van der Westhuizen makes his return to Blue Country. Off, off. 
Yeah. Off will go Francois Hochart. Did a great roar from the crowd, Hochart. Two tries tonight. Now Bandisa Marku with the throw in. Gets away. Nice little dart on the inside. Needs quick support. Vanenberg hovers with Jeval Pochkita. Picked up by Madfield. Now Vanenberg. Well, how often haven't we seen the Bulls in this situation with about uh, five minutes to go where they grind it down? Sometimes win a penalty, sometimes put it beyond the scope of the opposition. I think they'd like to score and put it beyond the scope. Stain shifting back, shifting back towards a pocket situation. In fact, uh, Portschitz is ahead of Stein now. They'll want to drive it up even further. Vanenberg, slow poison this by the Bulls. Comes for the Prie again, oh, little in an ugly fashion though. Gertrude Stien comes there, Pierce Lou as well. Stay on your feet, Blue, stay on your feet. Seven phases, watch the clock as we grind down to the last five minutes to go. No, he's on his feet, he's fine. Warno Stein is no longer in the pocket. Just content to watch his forwards do all the hard donkey work. It may come now. No, the forwards have gathered against Jan and Portrita to the left of that ruck. Then it's uh, Flip van der Merva. Oh, you've got to have a lot of energy. No. First phase, really. Intricate move from the Waratahs. Finally find a little bit of space on the outside. Oh, Mitchell couldn't hang on. What are they doing? Going straight off their feet. Oh, have a look at this other moment. Hey, hey. I'm shouting you like a... Uh, a lot being said down there, Owen. What's going on? Yeah, both captains just think they're getting a raw due to the breakdown point. But he's taking a closer look. They had the numbers on the outside. Just take his eyes off the ball, Drew Mitchell. This could be the, the turning point in the game. I think the Bulls now have got, can't shut this game with five minutes to go. Now, what will the Bulls' tactic be? Farid appear happy for the scrum to be reformed. That was my fault. I got the timing wrong completely. My fault. Stain may well boot it up in the air for the rest to chase. Touch. Pause. Engage. Dupria, Stein, Portrita. Oh, and it's a penalty to the Bulls. Brings a great roar from the crowd, and full war is penalised by Marius Jonka. Stein, the same old tactic with less than three minutes to go. Oh, look at that. Eight kickable goals not taken. If the Bulls had kicked that, they may have conceded, they may not have scored one or two of the tries, but they'd have more than accumulated those points from the kicks. Especially in the last seven or eight minutes, they could have kicked three, they'd be clear. Making everyone nervous in this fantastic arena. Flip van der Merva. Well, that tight-knit Bulls pack just grinding forward, grinding forward. 
two minutes to go. Listen to the crowd roar. Play the advantage, man. Play the Well, it's more advantage to the Bulls. Rita Pia sees that stand a little dab ahead. In goes Pochkita. Jacques Pochkita has the crowd in absolute raptures. He learnt his rugby in Pretoria, went to the Cheetahs. He's back here to score a try. And what is more important, it will take the bonus point, the second bonus point away from the Waratahs. Cleverly done here, the pressure is on, but Portrita coming through for the balls there. But all the hard work, it's almost out to the old, in with the new now. The new balls play. And it, it's sensational stuff, it's total rugby and well rewarded, well deserved to be where they are now. Well, heartbreaking stuff for the Waratahs after they had such a good first half. 26 points, they scored in the first half. They've only managed 12 in the second. Warno Stang adds the extra two. And the referee says they can kick off. So now, just a bonus point to play for for the Garant, Garant Waratahs. What a deft little dab ahead there by Warno Stang. Potskita is a powerful runner. Big collision of bodies there as the Yucca van der Besthazen comes away with the ball. His first touch in a long while for the Bulls. Now, the Waratahs way back there for Palu. Now, Drew Mitchell tries to run it up. Look at Gerthras, Jim covering. What cover by the loose head prop. Still alive for Horn. Matfield bangs it down. Still alive for Funden Hieva. Now, all a boot ahead, Van Diesel, Mark, who goes? Van den Yeva, it's Carter, Van den Yeva. Can Van den Yeva get it inside? Oh, that's got to be the ball game. A thunderous roar goes up from what must now have risen to about at least 35,000 people here at Loftus First Belt. And the Blue Bulls shirts are waving in the air. And 48 to 38 as we go back to the studio. We're back with interviews later.